Tonight we got our first look at designs for the new Transbay Tower. It's the building that will eclipse the Transamerica Pyramid as the tallest building in the city. The tower will be part of a new mass transit hub at First and Mission Streets. Three high-profile architectural firms presented their visions tonight at City Hall, and ABC 7's Lillian Kim has a look at the proposals. By 2015, there will be an estimated 50,000 new commuters going in and out of San Francisco each day. That expected growth is why plans are in the works to build what Bay Area leaders hope will be the Grand Central Station of the West. Three, two, one. Here they are. Tonight, three competing teams unveiled their designs at City Hall, which seemed to impress San Francisco Mayor Gavin Newsom. It's extraordinary. It is world class, a phrase politicians overuse all the time, but world class. Teams were given the task of not only designing a terminal center, but a mixed-use skyscraper that will be built adjacent to the new terminal. The exact height is not set in stone, but whatever design is selected will end up being the tallest building in San Francisco. The project is expected to break ground here on First and Mission Streets next year. It will replace the dilapidated Transbay Terminal, now 68 years old. And when it's done, the new station will serve Muni, Golden Gate Transit, Samtrans, Paratransit, Greyhound, Caltrain, and eventually high-speed rail with connections to BART. But beyond being a transportation hub, Bay Area leaders say the new center will be a shopping and dining destination. No telling which design will end up being picked. Each proposal has a distinct look. They do, however, share common themes. Each incorporate green technology and embrace open and airy designs. Every detail will be scrutinized by the Transbay Joint Powers Authority and the public. We will now need to go through the public process, uh, vet the designs with the public, vet the heights of the tower with the public in particular. It's a process that will take weeks. The winning project is scheduled to be announced September 20th. In San Francisco, Lillian Kim, ABC 7 News.